Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. But let me explain very quickly. What is the dynamics of spiritual communication? How does that light become understanding to the believer? For you to understand this, you need to understand the spiritual composition, the design of man. The Bible very clearly tells us that man is spirit. Man does not have a spirit. Man is spirit because God is spirit. Are we together? And that that spirit is hosted in a body. And that body and that spirit are incompatible because of the realms that they come from. The spirit is from above. This body was made from the dark. So there is no system of compatibility. Are we together? Now the mind comes, that solical component made up of the will, the emotions, the intellect. That is what creates the bridge between the spirit and the body. The body is an instrument of execution. Are we together now? That means that which the spirit desires through the faculties of the mind, you are able to execute it. This is so God communicates his intent captured in his light. Please listen. Let me explain to you now. That light is received by your spirit man. Your spirit man would have received that light. But you see, it cannot be profitable to you because at that realm as light, it cannot minister to your mind and your body. There still has to be a technology of conversion so that understanding can come it is at the point of understanding that faith can be engaged is someone following now there are times that you know your spirit has received something from god you know by the witness of the spirit and you it cannot profit you because you don't even know what to obey you just know that in the place of prayer your spirit has received something all the components that accompany the speakings of god are there joy peace I know that I have received something, but what exactly have I received? There must be a system of conversion. Now, watch this. This is where your mind comes in. In the body of Christ, we have taught people how to grow their spirits, but we have ignored the place of the mind. We have ignored the fact that the mind has a vital role to play in interpreting the speakings of God. Now you are about to see the role play that as robust as your spirit man is receiving the light that comes from the communications of God will not give you the basis to manifest faith properly if there is something wrong with your mind the mind consists of the will the emotions and the intellect now watch this your mind through learning I wrote here and through environmental conditioning has associated certain words and expression with certain feelings let me explain to you what i mean that through learning going to school any kind of education at all and through your environmental conditioning you have associated certain words are we together now certain vocabulary expressions to certain feelings for instance if i say ball you can't think banana because you have associated that object. Are we together now? This is powerful. That means the healthier your mind is, the more it can create the vocabulary expressions that interprets the light you have received. Are we together now? Listen, if you understand this, you will know what happened, respectfully speaking, to the fathers of old. They received many things from God, but because they ignored transformation, they were not able to interpret the speakings of God with accuracy. So their prophetic actions came with a plethora of error. There was no purity in their interpretation because they ignored the place of transformation. And it's a mistake that many spiritual people are making. They feel because my spirit is in contact with God through prayer. They ignore the role that the mind has to play 
in accurately interpreting the speakings of God. I always wondered why Jesus, the word incarnate, when he came in the flesh at age 12, the Bible tells us that he was in the temple. Is that in your Bible? Learning under the Pharisees and the scribes. Why would the word be learning again? No wonder when Satan came, he said, it is. Hmm. Hmm. The assignment of your mind, therefore, is to give the light of God for expressions so that understanding can be established. Let me take it again. The assignment of your mind with respect to the speakings of God is to give the light of God that you have received in your spirit vocabulary expressions so that understanding can be established. In Ephesians chapter 5, I believe verse 16, the Bible tells us we can understand the will of God. Did I get that? 17. Be not therefore unwise, but understanding what the will of God is. There is no basis for manifesting faith until and unless there is understanding. If you do not understand the instruction I gave you, how can you obey? Because faith in one word is obedience. Any other thing that is captured in your faith equation, if obedience is missing, you did not manifest Bible faith. If it be thou, bid me come. He only came because he understood what was said. Like my example with the gentleman, remember? You see that their obedience was almost effortless because their understanding was fruitful. That means what many, the laxity in obedience is not necessarily rebellion on your own part. Is that you do not even understand what God is saying. Hallelujah. Yes. Halisa branda kaposiata. The assignment of your mind is to give the light of God that captures his will and his intent to give it vocabulary expressions. Now, watch this. From the example I gave the gentlemen, based on their level of intellectual exposure, are we together? Their levels of orientation, that was what was responsible for interpreting what I said. So if this gentleman is more enlightened than this one, chances are excellent that his interpretation will be a lot more intellectual and meticulous because he has an array of options. You will now know why the Bible says to be transformed because your transformation puts you in a position where you have an array of scriptural options to accurately interpret that light you receive from your spirit. I presume that everyone here has a phone. This is the same technology that is used. Watch this now. How many of you remember a phone call, um, what they call it, 3310? Come on, 3310. Have you forgotten so early? Are we together? Now watch this. And then many of you know the concept of MMS. Is that true? There are times when I may want to send you an, NM, an MMS, maybe a picture saying, I love you, God bless you, and it is captured in pictorial form. Is that true? I can send it to you. Now watch this. The goal is for you to know that I care. Don't forget. The moment I press send, does it leave as a flower? No. It leaves as what? Waves. Notice that. You are not interested in the waves. You are interested in capturing the intent. That flower to give you a feeling of being loved and accepted. But it comes to your phone. Now notice. It will now depend on the configuration of your phone. For the accuracy of its interpretation. By the time those waves come into your phone. The quality of your phone can misrepresent what I sent. Is someone learning now the phone will do its best to use whatever tools are within its reach to interpret what it thinks I send and there are times you will be offended over something that should bless you 
could that be what has been your situation with God? That there are many times God is saying, listen, the direction is left. But because of the absence of transformation, you hear something else. When you upgrade that phone to a better phone, you will be surprised that you now see that MMS. Oh, this is what you wanted to say. Now you can respond with joy. So the Bible says, Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, it says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. There was already a construct, an intelligent word-based construct, that even though Jesus was the word incarnate, he paid the price to equip his mind with the requisite vocabulary that interprets the speakings of God with accuracy. And Paul is saying, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Someone can sleep and there's what people call sleep talking. You know that? Where people just say a lot of nonsense while they are sleeping. And if they wake up, they can deny it. Now, chances are excellent that if someone is shouting and talking about, say, a masquerade or something, someone who lives maybe somewhere in the U.S. who has never seen a masquerade, chances are excellent in his sleep talking. He may never mention the word masquerade because it's not captured within the frame of his understanding. Are we together now? Believers, please hear me. For as long as we ignore the supremacy of the word, for as long as we do not contend for transformation, there will be gaps in our perceiving the will of God as far as spiritual communication is concerned. The more you immerse yourself in the word, the more you are giving your mind healthy scriptural tools with which to interpret the speakings, the light of God. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.